All right, so I've had my uh, Kingfisher boat here for, I don't know, three, four years. And the other day I noticed that uh, my trailer's gonna need a little maintenance. Got these carpeted bunks, as you can see, it's starting to rot out a little bit. The carpet rips up here. It's just, I mean, it's probably good for another couple years, honestly, but I just want to get it taken care of because I launch quite a bit, so. Um, I did some research. So there's a, there's a few options. You can just go get a board at Home Depot, cover it with carpet, with glue or whatever, and just leg screw them in pretty easy and probably the cheapest way to do it. And, uh, but you're gonna have to do it probably three, four years again. So um, I did some research. I found that you can, uh, you can get some slides, some PVC slides or even some PVC boards you can replace it with. But I did come across this company called Ultimate Bunk Boards and that's what I decided to buy. So they do sell them just as the board only without the supports. And this is the uh, Supreme version here with the aluminum extr extrusion. Um, you know, it's kind of like the 80-20 stuff. It's slotted. Um, I don't have the carriage screws. I'll have to grab the carriage screws. But basically, the carriage screws just slide right in here and lock in. And they'll bolt up right to the uh, the supports. And Ultimate Bunk Boards, they uh, recommend anything over four feet span between your braces. You should be using this aluminum support on the bottom. So that's what we went with. It's for sure not the cheapest way to go. In fact, it's probably the most expensive way to go. So keep that in mind when you look them up, there's a little bit of a price shock, but it's gonna be the last time I do it. And it's probably outlived the life of this trailer. So John's here behind the camera. He showed up. We're gonna get these installed. We won't even try it for a while. We're gonna go fishing, heck with that. We'll get the boards on, go fishing. And uh, maybe I'll show you when we come back, we'll, when we're putting the boat back on, but I'll show you a little bit of the process here too. Look at that, he even grabbed the tool and went to town. I don't even gotta do it. Well, for the ones I can <laughs> get to anyway. We'll see how many he strips out. I might have to crawl underneath there. Well, this has got a, the Angle. upper screws in the way. Oh, is it not gonna work? You may need an extension. Ah, son of a gun. Didn't even think about that. Good thing I live only a mile away. They come? Yep. Oh, you got it. I had to bend a little bit. Get her a little crooked in the socket there. There you go. So yeah, we're gonna do that four more times. Coming off should be pretty easy. Show us how it's done. You're getting down on your back doing that. Yeah. I got one screw out. John got 15. <laughs> well, you know. I had to run and get an extension. Yeah, just this last one, I think. <sighs> Nothing like laying on the wet Getting ground. Getting so too old for this. Maybe let your trailer dry first. Nah. But that's all the more reason to get rid of the carpet, because then it doesn't hold water and drip for right. four hours afterwards. See there? Yeah, it's actually really water soaked. Yeah. Running off of there. <laughs> Goodbye to that one. Yeah. See you later. Goodbye to that one. Good riddance. I'm surprised how much water these things hold. Wow. Yeah. I wonder why they rot. fix it so they pivot now too show them that how they're supposed to yeah for whatever reason whoever set up this trailer these weren't pivoting so that's probably why those were banged up yeah because they were taking the load of the boat on the one side like they weren't quite lined up right on this corner yeah, yeah. supposed to slide back and forth john made a good call on that one we took a little detour and made sure those were work so now now it looks like a v fits in there not a flat boat right. <laughs> well it took uh, about twice as long as I expected. I had to run home, get another extension. Uh, we had some fiddling around with how they fit on these brackets, so make sure you measure and have enough play where those screws go in. Now that I'm 50, I'm out of breath just from doing this. I'm screwing. 
<laughs> Let alone your 300 pound buddy who's over 50. Yeah, right. Well, so now the real test will be when we get back from fishing, we'll put it on the boat here, but looks good to me. Ultimate uh, bunk boards, check them out. I think they're gonna be good. I can't say to go get them yet because I haven't even tried it, but they went on easy enough, so that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident. Just a preliminary, um, the PVC boards are nice and thick. I don't think he's ever gonna have an issue with wearing these down or anything. These are nice and heavy duty. They're definitely heavy. They're like 45 pounds a piece. I think the shipping weight was almost 90 pounds. So yeah, nice. keep that in mind when you order them. It's freight shipping when you get up to these nine foot boards. So yeah, definitely pay for shipping too. Okay, yeah, see, this is why I wanted to go fishing instead of working on that stupid trailer. There you go. A little flatty. Yeah. First one of the year. All right, we're gonna come in here and see how well this goes. spot found it <laughs> it tilted did it well she went right on right there that? it went all the way up right there yeah your wheel wells are out of the water but only by about three inches so well, we'll see how that works. There we go. So, there we go. So we're uh, back here at home. Got her tucked away in the garage and uh, those boards work great. Definitely going to be happy with those. Went on the trailer good, and uh, best part is I'll never have to replace them. So anyways, Ultimate Bunk Boards, I'll put a link to their uh, site in the description if you want to check it out. I think uh, it's definitely a good investment. Thanks again for watching.